All right, so who is Mikrotik? I've got a little logo here. Um, if you've used Winbox before, you've seen it. It's like this little blue dish type of thing with this um, dish there. So Mikrotik is actually a network vendor that's based in Latvia. Um, they produce a lot of wired and wireless networking equipment. So this is a big misconception that people have a lot about Mikrotik. They think it is a wireless provider that you're just going to buy dishes through them and you'll make something that we call a WISP, a wireless ISP, which is really the case. Mikrotik is actually very, very good with their routing, which is router OS or ROS um, that we'll be diving into. <clears throat> So I actually like Mikrotik for their routing and I'll use their routers for a lot of different things. Mikrotik also creates their own access point switches, routing and operating system. And here we've got what is a router board. So here's a little picture of a old 3011. I think we've actually got like up to the five series now. So 5009 or something, uh, which we can have a look at just now. <clears throat> but uh, a router board, it's just typically a physical piece of hardware. Think of this as a router um, that you'll be putting down at either your house or at a customer or somewhere that will be using router OS in order to um, get to the internet, set up different types of parts of the network. So router boards are built per requirement, which gives us various models. So you do get these tiny little 951 models which have like five ethernet ports and very limited speeds. And then you get the bigger models and we'll go through the models briefly as well. So some router boards excel to provide wireless LAN access while others simply or purely use this customer premises equipment. A router board typically comes standard with five to 10 e switch ports. These are usually gigabit ethernet, but they could be 100 megabits. Um, and some of the newer router boards actually come with an SFP um, slot that you can put an SFP module into to do either fiber connectivity or it might be a 10 gig or 25 gig interface that you can actually get more speed out of so that's actually quite nice um, some of the ports on router OS can also do or not router OS on the router board can do uh, PoE power over Ethernet so that you could do something like power and access point by just patching it directly into the router board now what is router OS so this is a very good question. RouterOS is a network operating software developed by Mikrotik themselves. So they created this in order to manage and also to administrate the um, router, the, the Mikrotik devices that you'll be working on. RouterOS can be run on a variety of devices such as router boards, switches. So you get the router boards, you get uh, switches, CRSs. Um, you could install a CHR, a cloud hosted router on a server and it, it's really really interesting um, there are different license levels for router os allowing more or different types of features so we'll go over that right now um, this is just a list to show you what the basic licensing entails so if you're using the eve guide with me you're probably just using the trial mode or free license um, which allows you to just play around with everything on the device for basically 24 hours you get a free demo, which you can request from Mikrotik, which will just allow you to demonstrate everything. Then you get license level three. And typically, if you buy a router board or a, a CHR, well, not, not so much with the CHR. CHR, you might actually buy additional licensing, but the physical equipment. So the router board, it will typically come with something like a, a router level of three or four that's loaded on the device when you buy it. You don't need to just buy it. But if you want to upgrade it, that is possible by just going to Mikrotik site and then you can just um, buy the license there and load it onto your router board. Uh, but as you see, there are various differences on what type of stuff you can do on each level. So <clears throat> for example, on, on the CPE, you can only do something like 200 um, triple PoE tunnels. But if, if it was a controller license you had, you could do unlimited amounts of connections. And it kind of makes sense because the controller might be where you want to roll out a lot of services or connect a bunch of VPN tunnels. Um, so just something to keep in mind of. But make sure you do understand what each license level provides. There is six of them. And um, you don't need to know exactly like, uh, they're, they're not gonna be like, as a controller, how many um, hotspot active users can you use? 
So typically, the nice thing about Mikrotech with their MTC and A is, I, I don't want to say it's an open book test, but they do allow you to research. So if your machine has internet access, you can actually go and go to Mikrotech's site and look at the license levels and then, you know, figure out um, if they ask you a specific question, then you can get it from that license level list. Okay. Now, before we wrap up the video, I just quickly want to get out of here and then I just want to go to Mikrotech's website and show you what is happening there, like how you can see different router models and then all that good stuff. So on the Mikrotech site, it's very straightforward. Here you can see training presented, all that fun stuff. Uh, but you'll specifically be either looking at your hardware. You might click on the buy as well. And from the hardware, you can actually see what type of devices they provide. So there's the RB5009, nice new Mikrotech, which is stackable as well, I believe. Um, so it's got like these slots that you can, you, if you buy two routers, you can like, you see it looks like Lego. You can almost like stack them together. But this is a great place to see what you get out of the router board. So if you need to maybe plan or buy a new router, then this is a great place to come to just see what features and uh, specs are on the, on the router before you purchase it so that you can make an informed decision when you buy. Um, so router boards, very common devices. CCR, the cloud core routers are also very common, especially in the ISP industry. You might see smaller CCRs at the customer also working as a CPE. And you might see the bigger CCRs like this uh, 2004 or the 1072. Uh, working in the data center just to provide uh, stuff on the edge to give services to clients to connect to. But don't stress too much about um, how you're going to connect customers and all that stuff. Just figure out what Mikrotech is. So you just need to know this is their website. This is how you can get here. And this is how you can look at the different types of models that's available. Um, there are a bunch of other additional tabs here that you can obviously go to uh, through your own leisure. Um, in the next video, we will be looking at the software tab and we'll be looking at ways to access our Mikrotik. So let's look forward to that and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.